Hi, like all of our friends, we're in total lockdown. So thank you for joining me and my brother Remy. Hi. In our kitchen, we're going to start by pursuing our passion for photography with a few practical suggestions. What we've got here is 100 million pixel Hass. This is brilliant for advertising and fashion photography. It really doesn't get much better than this. We've also got a early Nikon DSLR. This is six million pixels. You can get a damn good A4 print out of this camera. It's really good. And we've got here this little tufty. This is a brilliant little camera. Great for just doing sort of some crazy stuff. But we're not going to be using any of this. We're going to be using the camera on our phone. Because what they've all got in common is a aperture, a shutter speed, and an ISO. And that's the most important thing about a camera. It's great to have studio flash, but today we're going to be improvising with angle poises and torches. There are studio diffusers, reflectors and flags, but we're going to be using tracing paper for diffusing lights. We're going to be using silver and gold card for reflecting light back into the subject. And we're going to be using black paper or card as a flag to block light. So today we're going to be start off by taking a profile picture on your phone for your phone. It's important with any shot to establish a background. We're in our living room and we're going to be using our blinds. Our blinds are grey, which will work well as we're going to be shooting in black and white. The shot is going to be backlit. I've got an angle poise coming in from the left and from the right, which will be backlighting Ezzy and giving a nice glow in her hair. The settings we're going to use for this shot is going to be f2, ISO 35 and a shutter speed of 1 1 25th. I've got this little torch here. I'm going to use that to put in a little bit of fill light in Ezzy's hair. Propped up on a chair with some blankets, as you do. I've also got this torch, it's a lot brighter, and I'm going to be using it in the main fill light on her face. I've also got this bit of diffuser tracing paper that will soften that light to make it wrap round as more, and it will be a lot smoother and a lot more pleasant. It's important also to work in a darker space as possible. So I'm going to turn the house lights off. This will make the torches and the angle poises much more effective. Let's get this on. Okay, could you turn right and look over your left shoulder for me, please? Nice, it's good to have the lights in shot. That's really good. Let's get this one on and in position. Okay, look down a bit, please. Okay, let's go and have a look at the shots. Let's try something different. We're going to explore product photography with an inanimate object. We've chosen this beautiful Corvette Stingray. It doesn't have to be a car, it can be anything, from makeup, flowers or hair tools. It has to be reasonably small because we're going to be lighting it with an angle poise and a phone. We've made an infinity psych using a broom handle, a couple of boxes and a black t-shirt. The black t-shirt will absorb the light, meaning the silver car will reflect the light and ping. We're going to start by turning the house lights off, making it as dark as possible so that the angle poises will be much more effective. We're going to have a key light from above and two fill-in side lights highlighting all the detail along the side. It's important to use diffuser. They soften the light, take out highlights and reflections from the lights. 
and you wrap the light around the carnival. Let's take a look at the shots. This one's a bit of fun to send to your friends. What you're going to need is a pack of playing cards, some dark fabric or paper and a broom handle. The reason the fabric or paper needs to be dark is so that the playing cards, which are white, can stand out. We're going to be shooting at a tenth of a second so that we get motion blur on the cards that are being dropped either side of our main card. Our main card is going to be stationary as is our camera, so that they remain sharp. One of the most important things to have is blue tack and duct tape. I'm using blue tack to stick our ace of hearts to our broom handle, tape to suspend the background, and more tape to stick our broom handle to our kitchen table. As for lighting, we're shooting at a tenth of a second, so we're already getting a lot of light in there. We're just going to use a small torch just to highlight our main card, it's quite a harsh light, but it should be all right. Now let's throw some cards around. And will you count us in? Okay, one, two, three, go. We've done portraits, products and motion blur, all taken on our camera phone. We'll be looking at something more advanced, like the correlation between aperture, shutter speed and ISO. And whilst we're in lockdown, we'll be in the studio using flash, backdrops, props and makeup. Cheers. Bye.